Bandana Grandma here with my sister Jody. Hello everyone! The paparazzi queen. <laughs> and without a necklace on. Uh-oh. Run! You got earrings. <laughs> and a bracelet. Yeah, and a bracelet. Okay, I've got her paparazzi. This is my paparazzi that I bought from her. Anyway, happy Memorial Day, everyone. Happy Memorial Day. It's hard to say happy Memorial Day when we know it stands for all those lives that were lost for our freedom. But we are happy for those freedoms and we are thankful for those lives. And we celebrate their lives every year at this day, especially. Now today is a special day. Hello, Kate. I'm glad you're here, Kate. Hi, Kate. Kate's my moderator. There's Jack Mack. <laughs> hey, Jack. <laughs> That's my nephew, Jack. And Linda me. Russell. Linda Ru Hi, Linda. You, you can probably see better than me. <laughs> I have to get a little closer. Yeah, I know it's hard with that. Laura Richards. Good so, morning. Good afternoon so, for so, us. For those on my channel, Jody is my little sister. <laughs> and, Her younger sister. Yeah, I I am six years older and about six inches shorter than Jody. <laughs> but uh, she is indeed my sister. My other sister, Pat, is here. We're celebrating the holiday together. But uh, Patty's kind of camera shy, so she's not going to be on video. My phone volume is not working right now, so I cannot hear you guys. Can you other? Can the other people hear me? Okay, hear us okay? Hopefully you can. So today is a special day besides Memorial Day, which is of course the most important. But on the Bandana Grandma channel today, I'm giving away two prizes because. I gave this apron away before, and the winner never contacted me, and that's one of the rules. I tried many ways to contact her, and I never heard back to get her mailing address. So, I'm going to redraw for this apron today, and my sister Jody has donated a piece of her very special paparazzi jewelry. This is from the Z Collection, and it's gorgeous. Get it close to the camera there. Over here on this side, yeah. These are the earrings. They are rhinestones, and then it has the same rhinestone gem at the bottom and some nice chunky chains, and then this bar of bling. It's like pave. Isn't that what they call that when all the little stones are? I don't know. Like You're that. the fancy one, not me. <laughs> I think it's called pave, but somebody can correct me. So this this necklace can be worn formal. You could wear it to a wedding or a party. But I also dress up my jeans with it sometimes, and it just gives it a little, just a little pop. And We're back. <laughs> We're back. Um, they have 20 pieces that are $25. It's a little higher end jewelry. It's a little, it's still costume jewelry, but it's a little heavier and it is a little bit um just a little sturdier and a nicer quality jewelry so this is the piece i'm donating for susie's giveaway thank you jody i You're really welcome. appreciate that uh and at the end of this video we will have the drawing meanwhile we are going to go into the kitchen and we are going to make our mother's favorite coleslaw recipe which is like 50 years old and there's a little story with that i'll tell Wouldn't you when <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, good for you. <laughs> but there's a little uh, um, story to go with that that we'll tell. Uh, I also have to make a shout out here. Uh, I want to say hi to Jack and McKenna, my niece and nephew that are that live around this area in upstate New York, where we are visiting my sister. And I promised them I would give their friends. Is Myla. It Myla? I think it was Mila or Myla. Myla. Myla and Molly, a shout out. Hello from Bandana Grandma to Myla and Molly, uh, Jack's friends. McKenna's friends. McKenna's friends. Jack and McKenna's friends. Yes. <laughs> All right. Hey, Grandma Bandana, you're making coleslaw for our picnic today. Yes. Right? Yes, we're making coleslaw right. for the picnic. That's my brother in law asking if the coleslaw was going to be for the picnic today so we could eat it. I'm the gardener, guys. He's the gardener out there. Get to work, Jimmy. Mr. Green Jeans. Mr. Green Jeans, yeah. Okay, have you seen any comments that we need to answer? Well, no, people are just saying greetings. Hello from South Texas, uh, Boston Mountain Homestead. How do we get in on the drawing? Okay, good question. <laughs> good question. Thank you for asking that. I meant to tell you. All right, if you want to get in on the drawing, 
what you must do is go to two different videos that I have put up. The first one, uh, let's see, there's a video I put up about giving away an O Cedar mop. And that was the day I drew the mop, who was gonna, who I drew the name of who was gonna get that mop. If you comment in the comment section on that video, the O Cedar mop video, apron, those are the comments I'm gonna draw from to choose a winner for the apron. And then for the jewelry, Jody's jewelry, you need to go to my salmon patty video and in the comment section, not the live chat part section, but the comment section, you have to write the word either necklace or jewelry in that. And we're gonna draw from all those names at the end when- So you have time. Yeah, you have yeah. time to go. So the Cedar Mop video, put the word apron. The Salmon Patty video, put the word necklace. Disappear. I know, I don't like that either. My comments disappear. I have to keep touching the screen to uh, get the comments up. I wonder if there's a setting I can... I don't know, but we'll just have to... Uh-oh, okay. Gri Grizz is here. Who did he say? Uh, Grizz is a porker. I know, maybe I don't want to... I can't get back up there, Grizz. Somebody said LOL, Grizz, so he said something. <laughs> you know, he wanted me to make him a butcher's apron before because he... Talks about he just animals. put an angel. What? He put an angel on, on himself. Yes. Yeah, because he's such an angel. You got your thumb over there. Yeah. Oh, the camera. Yeah, Sorry, the camera. folks. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything else we need to do before we go inside to make our coleslaw? Now, oh, I wanted to know what do you do in your hometowns for Memorial Day? Comment in the chat. Do you have parades? Do you have picnics? Somebody just said they were getting ready to go to the parade and someone else Good. got their smoker started. Good. I'm so happy you could be here at all because it's one o'clock in the afternoon on Memorial Day. I thought well, everyone... here it is. Here it is. That's true. It's three <laughs> hours earlier out west. That's right. So uh, for those of you who are here, thank you. I only know because somebody said good morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's one o'clock here. All right. Uh, Memorial Day. The memories we have of Memorial Day is my mother's family always got together for Memorial Day. And I have, and hot dogs. I have lots of cousins and the Herzogs and the Beals and the Bruce and the house and the house. And I'm afraid I'm forgetting somebody. Okay. Anyway, all our cousins would get together ever since I was a little girl with the aunts and uncles, with all the aunts and uncles. And we'd have the little blow up swimming pool out and we'd swim and we'd do croquet and we'd do badminton and we'd have Everybody, all my aunts would bring food, and then the men would grill, and we had a wonderful cookout. Played, the men played horseshoes. And the women played Scrabble. The women played Scrabble <laughs> at the picnic tables, yeah. So growing up, we had all that. And isn't it a shame that it doesn't seem to continue on sometimes past a certain generation? My sisters and I live farther apart. We don't get together as often as we should. Oh, Linda Russell tried to put the word necklace in here. Please scroll. Okay, so she's taking care of that. Yeah, thank you. Kate is my moderator. You, she is wonderful. She knows just what to do. Kate, thank you, hon. All right, I think we're going to pick you all up and carry you into the, door. the kitchen. We're actually going to my sister Patty's house, and we're going to start making my mother's coleslaw from the 50-year-old plus recipe. Hang on. Alrighty, I'm going to find the best place to set this up. We're going to have to turn the TV down. Alright, we're in the kitchen. I'm going to show the counter. I need to turn that TV down. Hang with me, folks. Okay, TV, you're muted. All right, here we are inside my my sister Patty's house, and I am going to put the ingredients out. I got some still in the fridge. Living on a dime. Yep. Next, next, I'm going to make an announcement about living on a dime cookbook at the end of this video. Okay, I, I muted your TV. Oh, okay. They're, they're watching, they're watching in here. 
So I'm just getting the stuff out of the fridge to make the... Yeah. Get the right bowls. I just plugged in a charger on the computer so we have a charged up computer when you do the random the random pick. Oh, okay. Good. Good thinking. All right, I've got my ingredients out to start making the coleslaw. Yeah. Spoons and spatula. Did you, did you have the mixer? She said she, she had one. Okay. There's one. I'm going to sit down because my head, my head gets cut off because my sister is shorter than me. By quite a bit, actually. So we can't see any comments because the iPad is far away from us. We'll check them at the end. All right. Did you notice that because I'm joining bandana, I, I wore a bandana today, too? Which I don't normally do. Thanks, sis. It was part of the requirements of joining. That's a joke. <laughs> okay. I got some mixing. All right, I'm going to show you my mother's <laughs> recipe. The old, worn-out recipe. This, now, remember I told you the recipe was 50 years old? Well, it's a little worse for wear. You show them all the different I will. dimensions. I will. All right. We can still read it. Here's my mom's recipe. And here's the story I'm going to tell you before I show you the rest. <clears throat> um, my mom and our school principal, Mr. Maloney, were very active in the American Legion post here in town. And they had dinners there a lot. And Mr. Maloney made this fantastic coleslaw. And he had his own recipe for the dressing for the coleslaw. I hope you can hear me across the table here. Yeah. Yeah, shout. <laughs> And he gave my mom the recipe, and so every Memorial Day, mom would make this recipe. So today we're making it too. Uh, thank you, Mr. Maloney and mom up in heaven. And I'm gonna show you what else is on here. Because they made it for such a crowd, this is a little recipe. Jody and I dub double this for our family. Then they have, for 180 people, they've got the recipe. And then they have, oh, I, I went backwards. This is for 75 people. So 75 people, 100 people, and this is 6 to 8 people. So we're making 12 to 16 because we doubled it. So that's the recipe card from my mom. So, Judy, okay. how do you want to go about doing this? Whatever you want to do. You're, you're the boss. Okay, how about you read them off to start, and I'll start dumping. Okay. And... I already pre-prepared things. I want to tell you about the cabbage. A lot of people like cabbage um, shredded. shredded that have a little length to them. Mom wanted, mom in this recipe called for it to be pretty pulverized. So this is more like shredded. Uh, minced. Minced. Yeah, more like minced cabbage. And we did it in the food processor. Yeah. You can do it um, any way you want. However, it does make the taste different. Yeah, the mincing actually, the texture makes it creamier. Yeah, the texture of mincing does make it creamier. All right, so first ingredient. Okay, so we have four cups of cabbage, which we doubled, so you have to remember that. Yep, I got eight. I, what I did, because there's no carrots in the recipe per se, my mom always put carrots in, but the recipe does not show carrots. So I put six cups of cabbage and two cups of carrots, all minced. Wow, that's a big bowl. <laughs> this, Jody flattered me today. This is her very special vintage Watts, Watts bowl. Watts bowl. I called it yellow bowl, but it's made by the Watts company. The Watts company. It's a lovely, I guess, antique mm -hmm. bowl. So we're mixing. The, uh... it's the only big bowl I had. See, my <laughs> sister has bowls like this because she has a family of nine. Well, it's just me and my husband, and we have visitors once in a while. Our kids come once in a while, but never at the same time. So my bowls are only this big. So this is the only big one I have. Okay, and, oh, wait. So let's mix the, this up first. I can mix this up in a small yeah, bowl. Yeah, mix it up in another bowl because you, okay. you add this later. So we need one more bowl. Cooking on the fly live. Can I mix it in one of these things, you think? Sure. Yeah. 
Why not? When you don't have the thing you want, you use the thing you got. That's what I always say. Okay, I'm going to mix the dressing. Okay, in so now we need one cup of mayonnaise. You're doubling it, yes, right? Yes, I am. Okay. So This is one cup of mayonnaise. And then I'm going to put the recipe up afterwards yes. on your... Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, two tablespoons of lemon juice. Did you double the salt too, or do you not double the salt? I did. Is it normal to do that? Mom always said it made it too much, but I okay. had no idea. Well, let's put one and a half then. Okay. <laughs> All right, how much lemon juice? Uh, four. Two, four tables, for the double recipe, four tablespoons of lemon juice. Some people use vinegar, but this has no vinegar in it. That's why I like it. I'm not a big vinegar fan. My potato salad. Talk up. My potato salad, I don't like vinegar in either. Okay, there's four. Okay, um, one teaspoon of celery seed. Celery seed, this is a teaspoon of celery seed right here. Two teaspoons of sugar, which I usually put more in, but that's, <laughs> I usually do from just because. Sugar, to your taste. Two teaspoons of sugar for the double recipe. Mm -hmm. One teaspoon of salt and one quarter teaspoon of pepper. They're both in here. And a tablespoon of grated onion. And I only put one tablespoon in. Didn't yeah, that's a bit yeah. Up. All right, and then you can do your little mixing. It's very easy to do. Now Jody's made this a lot. I haven't made it a lot. Put the sides or some onions here. So just mix up your. Now when I make this and bring it to events, I have people that don't like coleslaw, and they ask me for it. They ask me for the recipes. There's what the dressing looks like with the specks of uh, celery seed in there. Celery seed. Celery seed really does a lot for this. I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Quick and easy recipe. This will be going in my cookbook. One of my mom's recipes. Uh, by way of Mr. Maloney, our school principal, elementary school principal back in the day. Okay. In goes the dressing. Now it's best to make this a couple hours ahead of time. So when you put it in the refrigerator, all the flavors blend together. So we yeah. have a couple hours before dinner, so we should be okay. You know, if we got a fridge big enough to... <laughs> <laughs> we can put it in the smaller bowl. We got, we got the big bowl just so we can get it mixed without it yeah. falling out all over the floor right. or the table. Okay, so we're mixing it up till the dressing is through all of the veggie. Well, it looks lovely. Mm -hmm. The carrots really give it a nice color and sweetness. Okay, I think it's almost there. Nice. All right, I'm going to bring it up to and show you closer. And I'm going to taste it. All right, there's the coleslaw. It seems so quick and easy, but of course you do have to chop up everything yeah, at a time. I, I chopped up the cabbage and carrots this morning. I'm going to taste it too. Mm, mm, mm. A little more dressing, maybe? I think it's good, but if you'd like to add more, you can. Mom seemed to be a little looser. What do you think? I don't know. It was mm. a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's yummy. It's, good. it's very yummy. I love the lemon juice and the sugar and the celery seed all blended mm -hmm. together. So that's the coleslaw recipe. I will be putting the uh, written recipe in this link in the show more section after the fact. I can't do it. I don't even know if I can do it from here while we're traveling, but eventually it'll get uploaded there. So you can have that recipe. Okay, let's check the comments. And then I've got an announcement about the next giveaway because every Monday at 1 p.m. Bandana Grandma's going live. And because I'm almost at 6,000, I've reached my 5,000, 
subscribers and I'm almost at 6,000. I'm going to be giving away a prize every week, Monday at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And after I check your comments, I'll tell you what next week says. And we're going to draw for the apron and the jewelry. Two prizes today. Two prizes. A redraw for the apron and one for the jewelry. You want to stay here or go back on the porch? Um, on the porch for the draw. But so might as well take it out there to oh. check your comments now. Um, we can check the comments now. Let's see. See if there's anything I need to really know. I hope they didn't say, we can't hear you. <laughs> Okay, I answered that one. Where can we find the recipe? It will be under here later. Okay. Hubby wants the salmon patties. <laughs> okay. Mm, that's yummy. All right. Kate, if there's something I'm missing that's important, I'll look for you to uh, shout it out to me because I don't want to spend too much time here. Oh, only been 10 minutes. I mean, looking at the comments because... Oh, that clock is wrong. Oh. 25 okay. Okay. Alrighty. Etsy store. Yeah, I'll be loading that Etsy store up in the weeks to come. All right. Okay, um, tell you what, we're going to go out on the porch and have the drawing for the apron and the jewelry. Let me just type something again. Just hello. Okay. And I'm going to tell you what's being given away next week. All right. Maybe we can get this back into this container. Well, why don't we do it after the drawing? It'll only be a couple of minutes. Okay. And we're going back out on the porch. First of all, I want you to see my sister's porch. It's such a pleasure to sit out here on her porch, and her yard is gorgeous. And I'll show you some of that too with what I can. She's got curtains out here. She's got a napping bed out in this. Made out of pallets. DIY. Yeah, DIY napping bed made out of pallets. <laughs> they got a pool over there. So they got a very nice porch here that is just a joy to sit out here and spend a lot of time out here. They had a swing. Let's see. See the swing? Swing chair. Swing chair. Up. Oh, and out there, there's a nice gazebo with. Is it uh, too bright? probably can't see. Oh, I can see it. There's a gazebo with uh, patio furniture. And all along the fence there, there's beautiful flowers. Her husband's a gardener. And Jody likes to put these cute, let's see if we can see it. Uh, yeah, on the fence there, there's, there's step ladders and shelving and all kinds of cutesy things on the fence and little sayings like simplify. And over here, it isn't quite in season now, but these are flowering trees she has over here. And against the fence, she has brumansia, beautiful flowers later in the season. So it's a lovely yard. And of course, they have a nice fire pit right there. A lovely propane fire pit, that is. So that's her lovely yard and porch. They're all saying, pick a name, pick a name. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to look at that stuff. I just want to I'm see just, the I'm just joshing. That's not what really they were saying. Okay, great use of pallets. Yes, I love my pallet there. Okay, let's see. Like your porch, so comfy, says Laura Richards. Uh, they love the porch. Beautiful cover on the napping bed. Did you make it, Jody? No, I did not. I cannot say I made it. See, I have a porch too. Right now, mine needs a big rehaul and cleaning and then I'll have a nice napping porch again also. Every winter gets a mess and I haven't cleaned it yet. Okay. Alright. They want a fire pit. Okay. Thank you. Alright. Now is the time we're going to choose the name. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this iPad out of the tripod and I'm going to bring it over here and turn it around to this 
computer that is going to be picking the name. Uh, where's, there it is. Okay, see this computer here? All right, let me figure out exactly what I'm doing. This is a different computer for me, so I have to uh, get that off. And apron giveaway. Okay, here's the salmon patty video. So I'm clicking there, and I'm coming over here where it says pick a winner. Right down here it says pick a winner. And I'm going to click that. And then it says choose from all comments. Sam and Patty is a necklace. Okay. Now this one, the comment must say either necklace or jewelry. jewelry. So I'm going to choose a comment. But if that comment that comes up does not say necklace or jewelry, we're going to have to pick another one. And the rules are that uh, you must be a subscriber to my channel and you must send me your email, not your email, your mailing address within five days so I can mail the prize or Jody can mail the prize off to you. Okay, here we go. This is for the jewelry, the necklace. This lovely necklace right here with the matching earrings. Are you ready? Good luck, everyone. I'm so excited. Good luck, everyone. Pick a winner. The winner is Carol Webster. She has the word necklace in her comment. I would love the necklace. So Carol Webster, you have five days to contact me either through my YouTube channel, email, or um, Facebook, uh, Sue, Sue, Susie Bandana. All the links are down below, and I'm sure that uh, Kate will put them in the comments here as well. So congratulations, Carol. You have won the Z Jewelry from uh, Paparazzi Jewelry. And you can all visit my sister's site. Tell them, Jody, how they can see your Paparazzi Jewelry. Where did I put this card? Well, you can go to my YouTube channel, or my, sorry, my Facebook page, which is Jody or Joanne Malm. M-A-L-M. -M. And when Susie gives that away, I'll go get my business card and show it when she's done with the next one. And I one. think Kate is going to put your links in, too. She okay. told me she would. Thank you, Kate. I'll go get my business card and you can show it. Okay. I had it out. It's on the kitchen table. All right. Now what I need drawing. to do is i got to go to the other video to pick the apron winner. So here's the Pro Spray Mop video. I'm going to go to TubeBuddy. I'm going to come down here to pick a winner. And I'm going to choose, comment must contain the word, and I'm going to put apron. Let's see, A-P-R-O-N. Comment must contain the word apron. All right, here we go. Pick a winner. Kate, you won! <laughs> Inside Kate's Kitchen won the apron. Well, good for you, Kate. Tell you what, Kate, uh, I have, I'm going to contact you about that because I have a choice for you because you've been such a wonderful moderator. I'm going to uh, give you a choice. You know what? This is what I'm going to do because I'm such a nice person. Kate, this was supposed to be a surprise. I was going to mail you an apron for being such a nice moderator. So I am going to pick again, <laughs> and I am going to still mail Kate the apron I was going to mail her, and I'm going to take another drawing for this blue apron. Or I'm actually going to uh, tell you what, I'll give Kate the first choice because I want to show her the other apron, and then whoever, uh, whoever I draw next will get the one Kate doesn't choose. How's that? All righty. You know what? I'm going to revamp that. I know Kate likes the other apron because she commented on it. So I'm going to give this blue one away like I promised. I'm just going to keep it the same. But Kate, you got one coming to you too. All right. Uh, oh, wait. Now I'm second thinking that because the rules are Kate was the winner. So I better give her the choice. All right. Anyway, the next person is going to get an apron. And which one it is remains to be seen. It'll be a surprise. It'll be a surprise. Here's another winner. 
New York City homesteader, you won the second apron. How about that? Okay. <laughs> All right. So that's a little confusing for me. I'm trying to do the right thing here. But Kate, anyway, I was Kate, I couldn't find your mailing address, so I contacted um, Daddy Curbs and I said, Can I mail it to you and you give it to Kate? And he said, Of course you can. So I was gonna do that when we got back from our trip. <laughs> but then you won this one, so I'm not gonna send you two. <laughs> so I'm gonna let somebody else win this one. So New York City Homesteader, you won one and Kate won one. So, congratulations, and I don't know if New York City's homesteaders in here or not. I haven't seen everybody's comments yet, but uh, <laughs> but either way, she's getting it. Yeah, New York City homesteader. All right. I think that's it, except to announce what is going to be given away next Monday at 1 p.m. when I have the next drawing. And my friend Tara from... Dining on a Dime, or Living on a Dime, for Living on a Dime YouTube channel, has donated one of her books. She wrote the Dining on a Dime cookbook. Now, this is the copy I happen to have here, so it looks very similar to this, but it's their 20th anniversary edition. To win that book, you must comment on this video. This video right here that you're watching. But you have to wait until it uploads as a video. Right now it's a live stream. Don't comment in the uh, chat here because that won't do it. When this uploads and it's a regular video, then you go back in and you comment in the chat, in the uh, comments, the word book. And if you comment book, you will go into the drawing next Monday at 1 o'clock p.m. So that's everything from here, from my sister Jody and myself. Uh, yes. Here's Jody's card if you want some of her information. Tell them when you broadcast, Jody. So I go live every. Wait a minute. Hold it over there because the light is behind you. That's not good. There we go. Okay. I go live every Friday night at 7:30 Eastern Time for my live sip and shop pap pap paparazzi jewelry. Facebook. Fa or Facebook paparazzi show. And I also do it Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. On Wednesdays, I do a quick flash sale for those that don't want to sit through the live shows. So, Friday, 7.30 Eastern. Yes, thank you, Kate. All right, so here is, here is where you can find, it's backwards, Sue. So. It, it's not when they see it. Oh, it isn't? Okay. So this is where you can find me. I on Facebook as Jody Joanne House Malm Brennanstuhl. All three of those all of those names are in there, but if you put Jody House or Jody Malm, no, but it isn't focused. We'll we'll post the the po information will be posted. Yeah. So here's Susan back. <clears throat> okay, that's all of it for now. When I go home, we are going I am going to be making a lot of crafts to get ready for some shows I'm going to. So I'm going to turn on the camera and show you how I make some of those crafts. I'm going to be planting my garden some more, hopefully harvesting strawberries and a few other things, showing you my fruit trees are doing great, including the espalier fruit trees that I'm turning into a living pickable fence around the seating area in our yard and other homesteady things that I'm doing there. Happy Memorial Day, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me on. You're welcome, sis. Bye-bye, everyone.